Hey guys, okay, so as you read in the title, we are headed to Ghana in this vlog and I'm gonna let you know right up front, it's a little choppy, but I try to take y'all on the full journey with me while I was there. Right now, I am sitting in the United um, United Club in DCA, or not DCA, in Dulles because that's where the nonstop flight come, goes out of. It goes from um, Dulles to across. And I am just putting together some little um, goodies for the flight attendants. Y'all know I am a flight attendant. I love when people bring things for us on the plane. So I thought, well, you know, let me get some little candy boxes. They are these little travel, um, these little travel suitcases. And I just got some fruities and I'm putting the boxes together putting a little fruities in there and I plan on giving them to the flight attendants once I get on the plane and then we are going to get into this vlog thank you guys in advance for watching and I hope you stay all the way to the end hey guys okay so we are I am because I'm by myself right now getting ready to board my flight um the boarding area is packed because the flight is packed this flight is always packed um it's about a 10 hour flight i already have my boarding pass but one of the gate agents told me i may be getting upgraded we love us an upgrade okay and i did use a vacation pass because like i said this flight be booked uh, so i'm standing over to the side with my fingers crossed because i need that upgrade baby um so yeah i'm so 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 excited i've been in the polaris club since i've been here like i got to dulles super early like i couldn't even check in for my flight that's how early i got here um but i'm excited accra uh, this is my second time going to accra this year and um yeah i'm just like super excited so oh my god this line does not look like it's moving at all but Again, I'm going to just stand by and see if I can get me a purple seat. We are here. Um, the flight was great um very uneventful the service was good the food was actually good um the food was like really good surprisingly <laughs> it's for me because you know y'all know i'm used to uh airplane food but anyway um i love sitting in uh in the premium seats like i was so happy when they upgraded me they came and got me because i actually had to go all the way to my seat um like in economy and then they came on and was like you've been upgraded i was <laughs> i was so happy anyway um yeah everything was really cool i am really hot and sweaty i just have on like sweats in like a little tank but coming in i had on my hoodie so i'm going to get showered get changed and i think i'm going to hang by the pool today i think that's all that's going to happen today i don't know we'll see because it's a lot of stuff that I need to do so yeah <laughs> Good glorious morning guys from beautiful Accra Ghana I am getting ready to go on a morning jog before it gets too hot it's still early it's about 9 a.m. it's like 83 degrees um, but I feel a little bit of breeze so I'm gonna try to Cause yesterday it was like really hot i waited too long so i didn't get a chance to jog or anything but i'm about to try to get it in i have to have someone run with me i guess um i really would like to run by myself because i just like to go at my own pace either fast slow then speed it up again but i'm about to see if one of the staff can um jog with me and then I'll be back. Um, if I look oily, it's because I have my um, black girl sunscreen on because <laughs> protect the skin. So I apologize about that because I feel real oily right now. But okay, about to get this jog in.
Just got back from my jog. Nothing short of amazing. It is hot. And um, I need some water. So let me catch my breath real quick. And whew, yeah, I need to catch my breath, girl. Oh, child. I left off like yes I do I was just coming in from my run I have was trying to edit this vlog and child the whole thing just I don't know so I'm gonna try to fix that later on but right now I am showered I am dressed I have on this maxi dress I really really like it and I'm going to buy the rest of the colors of it because I love the fit of it hold on y'all know I'll be having my little story time let me see so basically before our trip i have went online and i bought a bunch of stuff you know because this holiday you gotta you feel me so um this stuff didn't come in time or and it said it wasn't gonna be in time it was, but it actually came the day after like the day i got here is when my stuff got delivered anyway so in a panic i ordered a gang of stuff off of where oh faithful amazon so this is an amazon dress um i'll try to get like a better um full length of it i love it i love the fit um i got this color because it's like neutral it's like gray and um yeah i love it so why was i telling you that yeah i was like very salty like and I tried to see if my honey can like go to the house and pick it up, but it would have just been too much. Um, Cause he is actually en route here now. I got here um, before he did. So yeah, child, my stuff didn't come in time, but I still got some, I still got some looks. I can still got some things, you know, cause Amazon did come through and came like the next day, but we're getting ready. Um, we as in um, my sister, my sister um, is getting ready to, to go out into the city and do some running around and a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff we have been out to dinner twice since i've been here and i ain't showed y'all because look it's a little cringy being in a whole nother country and being around you know different a different culture and like just pulling out your phone like you know all day i do it you know if i'm at work or whatever but it was something a little cringy about pulling my phone out last night when we was at dinner and we was at a real nice restaurant but i'm gonna try to get a little bit better so y'all can see more of what's going on and hopefully i don't you know get too scared which is so crazy for me because i don't you know i vlog this is what i do but i don't know it's just something about i don't know that people will probably be like what are you doing but anyway let me go on and get in a car and um going to where we going <laughs> good glorious morning um yesterday is was a blur um it was just a lot a lot a lot going on so i did not get a chance to vlog we went to osu and then had to come back home and then went back out it was a lot going on so it is the next day it is the next morning um my honey comes today i'm so excited he'll actually should be here like in the next hour um i am headed downstairs because i'm getting my makeup done today we have a family event um today an engagement ceremony which i'll explain all of that later on because the makeup artist is waiting downstairs in the pool house so i am going to take my little i have like a handheld um travel travel sized um mirror because i don't get my makeup done because i've always had the experience that i didn't like it um i always like how i do my makeup best but um i'm getting it done today and I hope I like it, but I'm going to be watching <laughs> while, she, while she doing it. I just washed my face, brushed my teeth. I still got my, jam my pajamas on, but I'm going downstairs like this. Um, it is early. It's about 7.30 and we need to be out of here by 9.30, I think. 
so let me hurry up downstairs good morning good morning good morning and i promise i'm gonna try to do better with vlogging today i promise <laughs> Face black Gertrude. <laughs> I hope I got you in frame. Let me see. Okay, I am dressed. We're getting ready to head out. Oh, also, look at my makeup. Hold on, let me get some good light. It's so good, right? Hey, Reggie. It's. <laughs> I'm very, 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 very happy with my makeup. I can take my eyebrows yes, down just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Like yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, so much. I tell you, when I came in the room, I was like, oh my I was so excited. Perfect. My sister, so. my wife and my sister <laughs> have become sisters. Yes. Say hi, babe. Hey, hi, babe. <laughs> <laughs> We are back from the engagement ceremony. Oh, child, I am danced out. I am sweated out. Oh, good. Yes. Oh, we yes. are. Can you oh. imagine we're tied now? Oh, my gosh. Yours is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be off the chain. So we're going to plan. I'm going to get. Okay, I did 
just finished getting my hair washed and now I gotta like walk back over to where I'm getting my hair braided. Um, like I said earlier, I don't know if you guys can hear me, like I'm in an area called Newtown, which this is my first time being in this part. Like we usually be like in East Lagoon, West Lagoon, uh, Tema, season. but yeah. My hair feels very minty from um, like the dandruff stuff she put on my hair. Let me pay attention because I don't want to get right over. finished look I love them I got 31B and they're like twice mine so they're so cute Okay, um, I can't even remember where I left off last in the vlog, but if you can tell, I did get my hair braided. Um, I am very, very, very happy with it. I got some medium length um, knotless, and they're not too, too long. They're just like waist length. Um, right now, we are getting ready to run some errands. Um, we do have to take a PCR. We have to show a negative PCR test before we can fly back to the States. So we're going to try to um, take care of all of that and um, do some last minute, you know, errands before we get ready to head back home. Um, yes, and we, we found a, a really good restaurant that serves lamb chops and the chimichurri sauce. Uh, so good with some plantains so we think we're going to try to go back there um and if so then i'll show you guys the vibe because i lost my camera over the course of this trip it's a long story i'll tell you about it later but um yeah we're gonna head on out so we can get our day started Are, are they grilled or they're grilled? Okay. Do you guys have chimichurri sauce? Chimichurri sauce? No. A little bit. Not too spicy for him. Yeah. Fries or yam? Do you like, do you like a yam chip sauce? I just said fries. Fries. <laughs> yeah. You want to do this Chicago? Um. Spicy mustard, relish, onions, tomatoes, and lettuce. I want that. We can't substitute it for something. Okay. 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 We'll take it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not eating it. But you can. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, we are at the market. I am hot, burning up. As you can tell, like, I'm very sweaty. But we're getting a few things um, before we head back to the house. I just got some waist beads. My honey is getting like a shirt for one of his friends. They have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of like really cool, neat things in here. And they holler at you and try to get you to come in their booth. So you kind of got to just like either ignore them or just kind of say no thank you like all the time. <laughs> See? <laughs> Well, I think he went to some place else. Uh, but yeah, kind of. We were supposed to be following him. Babe, hi. hi. Okay, I know I look a hot, sweaty mess, and I feel like my lashes are so sparse and thinned out at this point, but I don't care. We are leaving the market now. Um, it was a lot. It was a lot this time around. Um, but we are, I was not a lot. They was a lot. <laughs> they try to get you to buy everything. Beautiful lady, princess, princess, come to my shop, come to my shop. So, I got what I needed. We got me some, some goodies. And um, we're in an Uber, headed back to the house I am very thirsty I'm pretty sure I'm dehydrated at this point but off we go <laughs> from the uh it's called the Car cultural art center but it's a market um here in ghana and it has like all of you know the little souvenir stuff that you would want to like take home you know to your family they have a bunch of different wall art purses just you know a lot of things that they make here in ghana um i like to go there my honey doesn't as much because he doesn't like to shop um and it, it it can get very 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 hectic just because everyone is pulling at you every which way i tried to say that in the last clip but i don't know what y'all all heard because it was just a lot going on and to be completely honest i have been a terrible vlogger um this trip um just really trying to enjoy holiday and then losing my camera then i didn't feel well for a day or so or whatever um so i am gonna try this is our go home day we're leaving this evening i'm gonna try to vlog um as much of the process of going home um more than i guess i've been vlogging here but we did end up going to um a wedding uh a ghanaian wedding and which was beautiful i believe i do have some clips i'm going to insert them um, and we did, you know, some other things, uh, like while, while we were here and I just love Ghana. This is my second time here this year. I was here earlier in January. And as many of you already know, um, just, you know, from me being on the vlogs and just asking me in the comments about this beauty right here, I am engaged. I did get engaged, um, at the beginning of this year in January, like I said, here in Ghana. 
my fiance, <laughs> my honey. <laughs> Um, I want to, uh, I guess, properly introduce you to you guys, to you guys, to him. Um, he know y'all because you know he's in my life, so he knows the videos and see you guys commenting and everything. But um, this is my fiance. This is the man that I call honey all the time in my videos, and we are engaged. It's um, been about what five five months now. Five months, yeah. And he decided to propose here in beautiful Accra. He is Ghanaian. Um, so that is going to be a video for a whole nother time um, to tell you guys how it all went down, show you some videos. At the time, I wasn't vlogging. So, and I didn't know what was going to happen or, you know, everything. So I really couldn't vlog that, um, that whole experience. But a lot of his family members took pictures. We had a photographer. This man knows me because uh -huh. I've always wanted to have a, first, uh, a photographer uh, whenever I was to get engaged, and he understood the mission. Okay, I mean, she needed content. Yes, she needed content, <laughs> content so. and just to document yep. such a beautiful experience and memory. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to try to document more. Going home, we did go and take our test. Uh, earlier today, uh, United requires everyone entering back into the U U.S. to have a negative um, test. So we did that. We already have that. We packed. Um, and right now we're in the pool house. So, so f since we've been here, we've been staying um, at his sister's place. The beautiful, you know, home that you guys have seen in other clips is his sister's place. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. And right now we're in the pool house. Um, and we were just having a little, you know, a little couple time, you know, unwinding and talking about, you know, some of our experiences we've been here. And we also, um, so I have some cards. I'm going to show you guys in a second. Um, it's called Love Lingo. And they're basically cards with different questions on them. And, um, We've just been sitting here, you know, just sipping a little bit of wine and a little, well, bit. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of Prosecco and just going over these cards and just, you know, dialoguing and talking about our future, which we're very, very excited about. I will do a better job at documenting the process and the road to the wedding. Um, and yeah, I just want to finally introduce you guys to the man you know in my life and the love of my life so um i think his sister is going to come down and we're going to chat until it's time for us to go to the airport and back to chicago um but yeah i just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that and i hope you guys are here for the entire vlog i don't know what it's gonna look like i think it's gonna be a little bit choppy but again um this is <laughs> this is how everything went down you know you can't really predict what's going to happen when you're traveling and on holiday and everything like that but um yeah so let me show you the cards really quickly so these are the different categories for the card and like i said it's called love lingo and um these are the cards we've already answered so to like give you guys an idea of some of the questions that they ask um what does freedom mean to you and this is like for the couples category uh whose marriage do you most consider to be a model marriage and why that's the family category so we've just been sitting here um kind of going through these and hold on let me turn it back around and to be completely honest like sometimes when we go on dates um you know have dinner or whatever we bring the cars with us and we sit at our table and eat our food and let it digest, drink some cocktails and just break out our cards and just have us some us time or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm so excited <laughs> and I feel so relieved finally sharing that with you guys and um, being able to, you know, share who the mystery man is. But I am engaged i do want to do a video um or a vlog detailing more about our engagement uh maybe some things about our relationship i don't know because 
<laughs> um, we want to put all of our relationship business on the internet. But I love you guys. You guys are family to me. Um, and I trust that you guys will be respectful um, in whatever I show you guys. So um, I think a few people asked me, um, DM me and asked me to share more vlogs um, about dating as a flight attendant um, and things like that long distance because him and i are long distance um he don't live in he don't live in ghana he's from ghana so um but he does live in the states but we live in two separate uh places right now and we're trying to figure that whole piece out ciao it's like um so i probably will come out with a series kind of girl chit chat you know talking about you know different things that you know maybe most people don't touch on as being a flight attendant because it can be very difficult to date and have you know a substantial relationship um if you're not already married and sometimes if you are married you know being a flight attendant and being away from home and away from your children and all of that type of stuff um can be you know very complicated and complex so i do want to you know start talking about more about those type of things so if you have specific questions you could go ahead and drop them below or you could shoot me a dm um i probably will announce you know that type of video soon on my instagram and have a box where you can drop your questions but i'm just giving you guys the heads up because i rock with y'all like that so um let us just enjoy the rest of our us time before we have to head to the airport and i will be back on here later quite challenging to start off like the gay agents was being super weird like um giving people their seats like on the standby list all out of order um it was like really weird they it was it was not good and there was a, a quite a few of us like traveling um on standby a few flight attendants um and we you know all kind of came together like what is going on here and then they started to realize that we was like onto their BS and it was just a lot. Um, then when we got to um, DC, which the flight was fine, I was knocked out the entire time. The food was decent, you know, whatever. Um, when we got to DC and landed, we landed at like 6.30 or something in the morning. Um, what is it customs yeah customs wasn't open so we literally just had to sit there on the plane and you all know how people be when we when you land like you land and everybody jumps up grab their bags you know try to get off the plane no they was like sorry it's it's not open right now so i'm like what's that for it was a lot but we are back in chicago i am headed home um i am slightly tired but I am happy to be back. And um, I'll talk to you home when I get back and get all my bags and all that type of stuff. So yeah, welcome back to the States. <laughs> hey guys. Okay, so I am back. I am clearly in my bed clothes because I am getting ready to go to bed. But I did want to um, quickly go over what I was trying to say on the bus ride earlier. And basically it was just like a lot of foolishness going on with um the standbys getting the seats apparently or according to the gate agent like the seats were automatically assigned and it gave people's like their seat out of order of their seniority and at united that's how you are awarded you know your travel you know your seat is by seniority or whatever so a lot of us luckily were like kind of knew that we are what all were employees and um kind of like just hung out by the hung out by the gay agents and was like trying to wait for them to like square things away because when boarding started 
it kind of got a little busy but anyway um so initially i was sitting like all the way back in like row 47 something it was very weird but i had listed for you know a premium cabin and it was still showing that the premium cabin seats were still open and that was the same thing for me and the other employees that you know i was flying with but anyway girl so it it worked itself out kind of ish um, we end up sitting in the purple seats, as y'all can see, like coming home, my honey and I, we did get purple seats, but that's what I listed for. I even used the vacation pass, but it was just some controversy around, you know, chatter around like the gay agents there trying to, you know, award seats out of order to give to some of the people that they know. I'm I can't confirm or or not if that is the truth but that's what it felt like and be, because someone who was Ghanaian um who was of a lower seniority than all the rest of us was kind of hanging out and was kind of being told to stay put but I ain't one for gossip I just know that's what was told to me and that's the experience that I was going through so yeah after we, you know, got into the seats, you know, we continued to talk about it a little bit. But, child, I was out. I was asleep that pretty much the entire flight until we got to D.C. And like I said earlier, like, I guess um, customs was closed when we landed. So we had to, like, chill on the plane for, like, I don't know. It, it felt like 30 minutes, but it may have been 15. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah girl ghana was a blast ghana was definitely a vibe like i always you know love going over and seeing my honey's family and you know all of that and um i'm so glad you guys are here to the end i know the vlog was a little choppy and i think i explained why you know early earlier in the vlog so um Thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Please hit that subscribe button and give this a thumbs up because it's a lot of challenges that went into, you know, making this vlog happen. But I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.